is fourth place, flexing on Sean Rowland. Dexter at his biggest and his best. Can Sean Rowland hold off of Dexter, who was just one spot behind you last year? <laughs> First, I want to thank you guys for all coming out to support uh, all these amazing athletes. Joe, with your 15th anniversary, Mr. Olympia. Um, it's great to be back. And um, I don't know, it seems like it's the Kai Green and Phil Heath show, and the rest of us are just tagging along to see what happened. <laughs> I'm here for the ride. I knew what I did to make a few improvements to get back here. I'm very excited. The only two guys up here I haven't beaten yet is Phil and Kyle. <laughs> but it's a pleasure to be a part of the Kai Green and the Phil Heath show. <laughs> Second Olympia now, Rami. We've seen the pictures online at 300 plus pounds. The question is, do you have enough to move up the ranks and take out some of the champs? He said he wants to thank everybody for coming here today. He wants to thank everybody that helped him, starting from Kuwait to the U.S. Is it? You know, he's very thankful for all the help. Uh, last year, it was his first year, and it was like a dream for him to be between all those athletes. And since last year, he took the decision that this year he's going to come tougher, harder, and he's competing to win. Yeah. Uh, well, Robbie, I'm going to help you out a little bit. I know you've been working on your English this year, and it's been very good, but uh, if you can translate for me and tell him that Kai Green said <laughs> he's got no chance of beating Kai. Absolutely ain't going to happen. He's got no business being on the same stage. Well, he said that uh, he loves everybody, he is happy to stand next to everybody on the stage this year. But this year, he is not just coming to, you know, just to be in the Mr. Olympia, he's coming to win the Mr. Olympia. It doesn't matter, no mention of any names, but he's coming to challenge everybody and win. stage here that's been pretty quiet. He's looking on his, almost chewing on his fingernails. The dominator, the Dominican dominator, Victor McKinnis. Victor, we all know that you're probably the athlete with the most setbacks, ups and downs, and up and down, and in and out, and all that kind of stuff. Now, you won the Tampa Pro just a couple of weeks ago looking almost like the old Victor again. So now, what does it mean for you to be back on this stage and probably feeling like the old Victor? Well, um, first of all, thank you for um, everybody for being here again, um, especially the ones that have supported me through all the uh, you know, ups and downs, as uh, Dennis put it. You know, I'm like 
CNN, you know, and actually drama. All of it, you know. But uh, you know, the old Victor. Um, I would have to say I'm close to it. It's it's tough because of my injuries, you know. Again, but uh, I never let that be an excuse for me, you know. And um, I look forward to it. Um, just like Dex said, I've beaten most of the guys here, except for big guys around me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not to belittle anyone. That's just to say that, you know, when, when I wasn't injured, when I was good, I was very grateful. And, I battled like a beast and came back, reached out, leaned down inside, and I pulled it back up because quitting is not in me. And I just hope everybody that saw me going through everything I went to, I hope that inspired you to know that quitting is not, you know, an option. And I look forward to this weekend to bring the best that I fought, and that's beating me last year. And that's what I will do this weekend. <laughs> All right, Branch Warren, back to the Olympia. You found yourself in a little unfamiliar territory this year. You used to qualifying fairly early, already being qualified. You said earlier in the year, Branch, we talked after and before, actually, uh, the Dallas show. You said, I will not point my way to the Olympia. If I don't win and earn my way there, I will absolutely not be on the Olympia stage. Well, you got that victory. You earned your way back. Branch, congratulations. And um, give me your feeling on this year's Olympia, man. You, you did get your way here by win. You're back in the mix. Well, thank everyone for uh, coming and supporting the 50th edition of Mr. Olympia. Without you guys, we wouldn't even be up on the stage. So thank you. And uh, you know, sometimes you got to work just a little harder. You think you're putting 100 percent in. You think you're doing enough, and you got to find extra 10 percent to put in. And that's what I had to do this year. You know, I had a bad showing here last year, I was very disappointed, and early shows didn't go how I wanted, so uh, I reached down deep inside myself, and um, I don't know quit. You know, I've had so many things happen in my career, injuries, setbacks, this and that, and um, I keep my faith in the Lord, and He gives me the strength to persevere, and I find a way to overcome. Yeah. So I'm here. Yeah. what's your expectations this year? Last year, a lot of people saying it might have been your last year, that the next year, he branches out of the top ten. You've heard everything that there is to keep you out of the lineup, out of the top six. It's to this, he's to that. Not good enough. Not this enough. Not that enough. What do you say to all the critics out there, Branch? Once again, that count you out year after year. Man, they've been counting me out for 22 years. So, um, like I said before, I don't give a damn what they think. <laughs> I, uh, you know, let me tell you something. All of you men and women out there to have a dream of being on the Olympia stage one day, being at this press conference, you know, maybe even being the last man standing on that stage one time. There's going to be all kinds of people in your life that are going to tell you you're not big enough, you don't have the genetics, you don't have what it takes, blah, 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 blah. But let me tell you something. No man has a right to tell another man he can't do something. Period. Yeah. And so if you want it, you just got to go get it. Believe in yourself. Find a way. Overcome. Thank you, Brandon. Steve Kukul. Steve, last year was your rookie to be the first time. It's kind of like getting your feet wet. This year, you're no longer a rookie, so you're coming here to be one of these guys coming here every year. So now, what Steve Kukul is coming back from last year's, I'm a, I don't even know what place you got last year. It doesn't really matter. So, but I'm looking at pictures. I see the videos. It seems to me like Steve Kukul is on a mission himself. Steve Kukla has brought the best Steve Kukla to this stage that we'll ever you know, see to this day. And, uh, That's it's a perfect day to do it. This mm -hmm. stage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect, yeah, the Olympia is the perfect stage to bring it. But first, obviously, thank you everybody for coming out. It's a pleasure and honor to be part of this, Mr. Chang, the whole committee that's put this event together. It's an honor to be uh, part of this. And every man on this stage, like Branch said, has a, a right to be here, has worked their butt off for, you know, year round. And uh, I know everybody's going to bring their best package. So it's, it's, you know, it's not a Phil, it's not a Kai show. It's a 17-man show. And I know um, come tomorrow night, it's going to be a battle. So don't expect this to be a walk in the park. Thank you, Steve. Well, Steve, let's get down to brass tacks here, bro. Last year we gave you a pass. 
rookie Olympian. You know, you take it easy a little bit. You don't really come out talking trash and all that stuff. But now you're a veteran, my friend. Your second Olympia. Will the King Snake be in the top ten when the smoke clears? The King Snake will be there. Phil said that his trainer, Hani Rambon, which is also my trainer, can't make Mr. Olympia champions. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, he's dialing Phil and I into the best package we could actually hit that stage with. Thank you.